All right, so you guys already know the drill. iOS 26.2, the first beta has been out for several days, and I always like to come back a few days later to talk about some additional new features and changes that I may come across after using the beta for a couple of days. And there's actually quite a bit to talk about. If you wanna watch my initial coverage, I'll link that video in the description down below. But in today's video, we're going to focus on some additional changes that I've noticed. And I wanna start off with this new enhanced safety alert feature. So this new feature, Feature, which is under the notifications section in settings head on over into settings here let's go under notifications and we have to scroll all the way to the bottom to find it and this is an additional alert menu or option called enhanced safety alert and this will alert you for earthquakes or imminent threat alerts as you can see right there you can also help improve the service with this toggle here but now we have an enhanced safety alert feature built into iPhone with iOS 26.2 so this next one is really cool something that I've noticed recently you can now actually quickly switch the audio input device right from the control center so I have an AirPods Pro 3 in my ear right now and let's say I'm on a FaceTime call or just recording a video this is great for content creators so you can go to control center tap here and now you can switch the audio input as you can see right there you can choose rather it's the system the microphone built in or the airpods pro 3 that i have in my ear i can actually switch the audio input directly from the control center i think that's pretty neat again great for content creators and even when on facetime calls now if you use the freeform application on iphone these are going to be some of the new features and capabilities coming to freeform with ios 26.2 as you can see right here now personally i don't use this application but if you do these are going to be some of the new capabilities coming to the app with this next software update now apple has also added flash alerts on iphone now typically when you set up flash alerts when you get a notification your led flash will light up on your iphone well now you have the ability to also use the screen to flash or both as you can see right there now you can find this option in settings under accessibilities if we scroll down once you find the audio and visual options scroll all the way to the bottom and there it is flash for alerts you now have the option to choose rather you want the LED flash the screen or both and you also have flash while unlocked or flash in silent mode as you can see right there now with iOS 26.2 you can now finally set reminders schedule alarms and timers simultaneously on the same reminders application this is what the prompt looks like when you first enable it and right here you see on dynamic island you get that notification right there once the reminder is alerted and you also get an update on the lock screen where you have the slide to stop and if you do use the snooze button you also have a reschedule option which will bring you to the reminders application and you can go ahead and set that reminder or reschedule that reminder so the new urgent option allows you to set those alarms and reminders together within the reminders application something i was really hoping to see now check this out code within ios 26.2 references a new apple creator studio we're not exactly sure what this means obviously if we go by the name apple could be putting together a suite of applications for creators perhaps calling a new app or service apple creator studio for creators and content creators so we'll have to wait and see but code within ios 26.2 references this new apple creator studio either way guys that about brings an end to this video ios 26.2 is shaping up to be another great solid update coming to the iphone shortly i'll continue digging around the software and testing this software in terms of battery performance and everything else in between so make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for that thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one peace